This is going to show you how the Presto K8 uh, turntable, recording turntable cutter works. Back up here again. And you'll see that it takes a full 12 inch record. This is a 12 inch ruler. And put the spindle at six inches and you see that it's the full width of a wall playing record. I have a wall playing record here. Just to, for comparison of size. It's a bad one. <laughs> uh, now to show you underneath, okay, the, this is the arm that moves in and out. Uh, when you're ready to record, you lock that down and it's, and it's locked in and it will proceed through the cutting. Lifting the platter up, there I have two speed spindles. Uh, this one is the reverse one, which we'll show you later. I can keep it on, in here. I have also a nail here just to uh, help aid with uh, adjusting this. But uh, this is the forward one. And let me just show a little bit about how that thing is set. Loosen this. And this comes out. The whole thing comes out. And now when you put it in, you push it in lightly and tighten. And that should give enough play for it to turn without any uh, excessive play that might cause it to. Uh, chatter around a bit. And so that's in there real good. So we'll put the flower back on. And uh, fresh oil can be put in there if you desire. Okay, that is hit the bottom. This is the mat that goes on. Put it either way you want. Uh, you have to let the pin stick out. If you were cutting a disc, you, the discs have something so that when this pulls on the disc, it, uh, it grips tightly and doesn't slip on the mat. So, uh, now what we'll uh, demonstrate is this cutter, as opposed to these other cutters over here, uh, these are uh, General Industries record cutters. And I'm going to set the arm on each one of these at about 12 inches. And what we're going to see is the difference in the speed of these here, the pitch. So that's about 12 inches. And this one here, we'll set him at about 12 inches. Give or take or so. So these are locked in and ready to cut. And the same thing on this one. We're going to set this one at 12 inches. This is here, about there. So we're going to start both all three of them up at about the same place if these two are.
I'm going to demonstrate, I've got the reverse cutting head in here, I've got it set for 78 RPM, because this way it can go a little faster, you can watch the head go the other way. If you were ready to cut a disc, you would have to put a stylus into the cutting head. There's a flat on the top, and the cutting head goes in with the flat on the top, and the set screw tightens down, and now this would be able to cut it down. I didn't put it in all the way, did I? See what the problem is. Probably have that too loose, too loose, too tight there. And you got to uh, try it. Okay. And then that would go down. When you lower, what you would do is you would engage the screw, and then when you're ready to cut, this is still above the surface of the record. And then you would lower this thing onto the record and stop cutting. 